What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. So if you've seen the first two seasons of Bridgerton and are curious about what happens next, we've got you covered. From the cast and plotline to the official release date, here's everything we know about Bridgerton Season 3. So Bridgerton Season 3 is on the way? Yes. On April 13th, 2021, Netflix announced the news via Facebook. Esteemed Ton member, it appears we have a rather special announcement. Bridgerton will return for seasons three and four. The author will have to buy more ink. Lady Whistledon, yours truly, this statement begins. According to Deadline, this series' upcoming seasons will have a new showrunner, Jess Bronnell, who has worked on other Shonda Rhimes-led shows, such as the first two seasons of Bridgerton, Inventing Anna, and Scandal. Is there a set date for the release of Bridgerton Season 3? There is no official release date for Bridgerton Season 3, but significant storyline changes may have an impact on its premiere. A source told the Daily Mail in January 2023, filming has been delayed due to the screenwriter not being happy with the direction of it. There are some elements that Shonda is just not happy with and wants to change. They continued, some of it got very dark. According to the source, creative changes and requests to bring the fun back to the show will cause the production timeline to shift. But the team hopes that fans will enjoy the upcoming season as much or more than previous seasons. The Daily Mail confirmed on January 17th that the show is back in production, with cameras rolling outside the Royal Crescent in Bath, England. Many cast members and extras were seen dressed in Regency-era attire, making us wonder what grand event takes place at this opulent location in Season 3. What will the third season of Bridgerton be about? The first season of the hit show focused on Daphne and the Duke, while Season 2 focused on Anthony's romance with Kate Sharma. As a result, the third season will naturally follow another Bridgington sibling on their journey to love. Season 3 will explore the fourth book, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, which follows the budding romance between Miss Penelope and Colin Bridgerton, according to Netflix and series lead Nicola Coughlin, who plays Penelope Featherington. Like Lady Whistledon, I've kept a big secret for a long time, but I can finally tell you that at Bridgerton Netflix Season 3 is Colin and Penelope's story, Nicola said on Instagram. There's a lot to look forward to, according to Simone Ashley. According to the actress who plays Kate Sharma, she is very happy when reading the scripts. When I receive them, I have a beaming smile on my face, she added. Anthony and Kate marry by season two finale, and Simone revealed in an interview with British Vogue that the newlyweds will now embark on their honeymoon phase together. We are filming a dance this week, and the tone is completely different sweet, enduring, and light, compared to the heaviness of their story last season, she says. She admitted, in this chapter, Kate also learns how to navigate her life as a Viscountess. Despite her outward appearance, people like her are sometimes the softest on the inside. Because they are vulnerable, they develop that skin. You can see her doubts and fears. She is beeping nervous, and I think admitting that gives her strength, she said. Season 3 will have plenty of romance to swoon over just like the previous two seasons. Simone also teased E! News that the upcoming season will be super steamy, referring to it as Condensation Central. So we're all about to fall for hashtag Poland, right? Who will be back for Season 3? Season 3 follows the fourth installment of the book series, so we can expect to see most of the Bridgerton siblings again. Of course, Nicola and Luke Newtown return as Penelope and Colin, Lady Violet Bridgerton, Ruth Gemmel, Lady Agatha Danbury, Ajoa Ando, and Queen Charlotte, Golden Rocheville, all return, as do Jonathan Bailey, Anthony, Claudia Jesse, Elise, and Luke Thompson, Benedict. However, Phoebe Dinevor told Screen Rant in January 2023 that she might not return to the ton as Daphne. When asked if her character would have any exciting relationship dynamics in the upcoming season, the 27-year-old actress replied, Unfortunately, not in season 3. Possibly in the future, but in season 3, I'm just excited to watch as a viewer. Simone Ashley and Kareth Chandran joined the cast as the Sharma sisters in season 2, 
and Simone confirmed her return as Viscountess Bridgerton in season three on April 21st. When asked if she'd return to the fourth season of Sex Education, which Simone has started since 2019, in an interview with ITV's This Morning, she confirmed that she was leaving to focus on Bridgerton. I'm now a Bridgerton girl, she declared. It's unclear whether Carithra will reprise her role as Edwina, but both she and Simone have previously stated their willingness to return for the upcoming season. I adore the cast and crew, so I'd be thrilled to return, Carithra told Entertainment Weekly. I haven't been told anything. It's not my choice. And of course, my wish for Edwina is that she finds love with someone wonderful one day. But for the time being, my priority is for her to find adventure and excitement. Lady Whistledon, what about her? The one and only Julie Andrews narrates Lady Whistleton, London's anonymous social gossip. Although viewers already know the true identity of the mysterious writer, Ton does not. They're expected to be unmasked in season three. But don't worry, Julie's iconic voice will not be lost with the reveal. Oh, it's returning. When asked if she'd continue to narrate season three and beyond, Julie confirmed to Entertainment Tonight. Oh, definitely, yeah. However, don't expect to see the legendary actress on camera anytime soon. You know who Lady Whistleton is, so I'm afraid it will remain in the background. But I'm delighted to do so, she said. Is there a new cast member joining Bridgerton for season three? Francesca, the Bridgerton family's second youngest daughter, was recast in May 2022, according to Deadline. Hannah Dodd, who appeared in Enola Holmes 2, has replaced Ruby Stokes, who had to leave due to prior filming commitment. Francesca had a minor role in Bridgerton's first two seasons. Showrunner Chris Van Dusen told TV Line in March 2022 that Francesca was supposed to have a larger role in season two, but she had to leave after only three episodes. I love Francesca, but we lost her midway through season two, he told the publication. After exhausting all other options, she was forced to come out for reasons beyond our control. Hopefully, we'll see more of the character in this series' third installment. Hannah New from Black Sails has joined the Bridgerton season three cast. She will play Lady Tilly Arnold, the ultimate girl boss according to Deadline. The character is described as enjoying the privileges and power that came with being at the helm of her former husband's estate, living the life on her terms with financial independence. Finally, three new characters appear during this social season. According to Entertainment Weekly, Daniel Francis plays Marcus Anderson, a magnetic Ton member who catches the attention of certain Ton matriarchs and the ire of others. Lord Deblane, a genial lord with unusual interests, is played by Sam Phillips. Finally, James Vaughn is cast as Harry Dankworth. Do we know the titles of the episodes? We do. On September 24th, Netflix released a video called Bridgerton Cast Portrait Challenge, in which Luke, Colin, and Claudia, Eloise, draw portraits of each other while talking about the upcoming season. Toward the end, Nicola, Penelope, appears to deliver Lady Whistleton's opening season three monologue and the first episode title, Out of the Shadows. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views and opinions in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one.